Hey y'all. Okay, so it's Lauren here again. Hi, how y'all doing? Okay, y'all, so I'm on a roll. I'm so excited. I have, um, so I've had pent up anxiety, well not anxiety, but just I guess excitement for the past couple weeks. And now I get to finally do what I've been anxious about doing. So what it is, is I'm doing, I'm redoing my son's room. Um, his name is Jeremiah, he's 14. Um, we moved in this house um, last October, it's now January. So well, not last October, but October 2019. And so we've been in the house a little over, over a year. Um, he's really tall, he really shot up a lot this, this past year. We had this twin bed, but we gave it to him to use. So it's a new bed to him, but and it was fine at first, but now it's just not anymore. So anyways, the whole point is we're redoing his room. So I'm talking a lot because I have excitement in me. But what we're going to be doing is just redecorating everything. So as you can see behind me, there is a headboard here. Um, over here we've got some, um, an ottoman, we've got a ceiling fan, we've got a rug, we've got wall, wall decor. And so this is really, the first part is really just going to be getting the walls painted. Um, and then I'm going to do a little decorative piece on the back wall over here behind his bed. But he's a teenager. He doesn't need a whole bunch of bright colors. He doesn't need a whole bunch of like things on on the wall. I think minimal. He's. I think minimalist would be good. But um, I want him to put his touch on it. So I'm just gonna start him off with a good slate, a nice room with some added pieces that are more grown up um, and more specific to what I think his style is. Um, he said he said he wanted a surprise. I asked him, did he want to help me or did he want me to surprise him? He said he wanted me to surprise him. So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> so I think he knew that's what I wanted to do anyways, but I, I gave him the choice and he chose this. So we are going to get started. So there's a few pieces that are missing still. So this is going to have to be um, over several days. I might break it up like I did the pantry um, videos or I might... Um, just bundle everything into one and you'll just see different outfits or you might even see the same outfit because this might get paint on it so why mess up more clothes <laughs> but y'all I'm just so excited so giddy uh, talking really fast but this is my excitement it is 11 o'clock at night I'm getting started late to Friday it's actually Friday January the 8th and so what I'm gonna do is um, get move everything out I'm gonna move everything out into the playroom um, and then start painting the wall. So I'm going to start on this wall first because this one behind us because it is the feature wall um, and then all the other walls um, I can do. So excited. Okay, and I also need to go back downstairs and get the vacuum. So what I'm going to do is clear everything out first. It, um, yeah, I'm going to clear everything out first and then I'm going to, um, uh, what is it? I'm going to start painting. See, and okay, let me show y'all something because this is kind of throwing me for a loop. I don't know with this ceiling. I really don't know what to do. I might just, I might just stop here and leave the top. Okay, let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so his, um, can y'all see that pretty good? Yeah. Oh, it's blurry. Okay, focus. Anyways, okay, so I know it's a little blurry, but so I'm going to paint all the way up to here the new color and then I'm gonna leave the ceiling. I hate painting ceilings and I think it'll be fine. Um, <laughs> but we're just gonna paint. I was worried because it has he has so many angles in his room. But I think I'm gonna just paint up to this top level and then um, yeah, then we'll call it a day. All right, so I thank you so much for clicking on this video. Please um, join me in this excitement. Uh, Y'all will see at the end, but it's gonna be pretty minimalist. He, I don't want to say he is a minimalist, but I want to give him the chance to be a minimalist if he wants to be, or he can be, he can have more um, decorations, or as we go to stores, I might see something and ask him what he thinks about, it, and if he wants it, I'll get it. You know, so we're just going to start off with a more um, minimalist type feel at, at the beginning. So if y'all see something as I'm going through this, please let me know. Um, I'm like when I say I'm so excited y'all don't even know I wish y'all could get in my head and see but anyways like I said I'm gonna be starting um, pushing this stuff out getting the bed out of here the mattress and all that good stuff so let's go hey y'all so just a couple of things I wanted to share before um, or as we get into the video 
Um, first thing is, um, I did ask him if he was okay with me sharing this online. He said he was fine. He was actually excited about it. Um, so he's 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 loving the idea of this being online. So I do want to let y'all know I do respect his space and his opinion. And this is his room, so I don't want to just post it online if if it's not something he's comfortable with. Um, but he's actually really excited about it. I'm pretty sure he's gonna watch it multiple times. Um, but also I wanted to share that he did pick out the colors, he picked out the wall decor. The only thing he didn't, um, he didn't pick out like the furniture pieces. So I asked him, did he want like a, a solid wood bed? Did he want an upholstered bed? Um, he wanted the upholstered bed. He wanted a, he wanted a bigger bed, um, of course. And, um, yeah, so that, and then he picked out all the wall decor. He didn't pick out the, the shelving and um, some of the placement of the wall decor. I put that there, but for the most part, this is all his design. He picked out pretty much everything. Um, so this is this is his room, and um, also I wanted to mention that I'm I like doing stuff like this. My husband, of course, he could have helped me, but I like doing it, and I didn't want his help or anybody's help until I got to a part where I couldn't do it, like, for example, the fan. So just know that um, I'm not in this alone, but I do, I like, I really, really, really like doing stuff like this. So my, exci my excitement comes from um, him just basically turning over a new leaf in his life where he is now crossing over into being a semi-adult, it's almost similar to when you take your baby and out of the crib and put him in a toddler bed or you know a t twin bed or whatever bed you you give them next after their their crib but it's pretty much to that effect um, I am really excited about this this is probably the furniture he's gonna take with him to college if he can keep it um, I'll, ha I'll share it with y'all later why I'm laughing on that but um, anyways so it's just really exciting he's 14 he's he's gonna be 15 in a few months and it's just going by so fast so I'm I'm so excited and so pumped up about getting him this room and just making sure it all turns out perfect but anyways I'll stop talking and I'll come back when I get to the next part but um, thank you so much for watching please leave down below any comments you have anything you like anything you don't like just let me know all right Alright y'all, so um, now I have finished framing out the wall and I covered the light switches on either side. It's looking good, I took my time. But I'm not going to do up here because this top part right here actually is going to be wallpaper. I am going to paint it, um, I'm going to paint everything blue. Alright, so this is the paint that we got and it's in the color Shipyard. Got a quart because it's only... Um, it's only a small part of the room, so I don't think I need a whole bunch. So I'm just going to pour this out and get to painting. got the wall completed so it looks really good I really like it it's very teenage boyish <laughs> so it's just a small wall and um, yeah it looks good I like it um, it's gonna really pop see I kind of go back and forth in my head about like white and blue and maybe like another color but I think this is gonna be more so his his style so um, 
And he picked out the colors actually. Well, I helped him, but he picked out the colors. He agreed. Um, so I'm about to paint this wall. I really just want to paint to see what that paint looks like against this wall because um, I just I just haven't seen it and I was a little bit worried that it might be the same color but now I'm thinking I'm pretty sure it's not so we're just gonna test it just to make sure but yeah let's get to it Good morning everyone, so I'm back here. Same shirt, different pants. Um, so today I'm gonna finish up um, painting the walls. Um, so I think it's gonna look really good when I'm done, but let's just get back to painting now.
So we are done with the um, walls for now. I gotta get more paint for this back area, just a little one. Um, go get the wood and then we'll be back to set up everything. So we're all done. Everybody's smoking all the greenery. Yeah. Close the matches, they were handed down to me. But I'm still fly, I'm still fly, I know. I'm still fly, I'm still fly. Hey, right. hey y'all. It is about 11 o'clock now. We got the bed set up. Yes. Got the walls all painted. Thank you. We're about to tie those slats down. Y'all, I'm ready to be done.
feel this over the door mirror we got from Ross for 20 bucks so I thought that was a really good deal we originally got it for our bathroom our master bathroom but it was too small and so it went perfectly in here with his um, color scheme and everything so as we walk into the room what you will notice is that he has a really long wall that one I have left blank this is this is what I was talking about before where it's going to be minimalistic where I'm just leaving pretty much most of it bare so he can do what he wants with that space. Also to the right you'll see there's like an accent wall with a little bit of wallpaper. Um, another wall where he can pretty much do whatever he wants there. There's another big wall to the right that you'll see in a second but there's lots of walls for him if he wants to add more he can or if he wants to keep it simple as is he can do that too but I like that it has like this kind of industrial um, rustic type feel that picture above the bookshelf is something um, my aunt made for him for all the kids so they each have their own um, the bedding I got from at home so the comforter the pillowcases came from at home and they were about $30 and then the um, pillowcases behind the, the Aztec uh, print like the, or chevron print that's what it is that and the bed sheets came from at home and those were about $10 um, the banana sign that came from at home that was about maybe $10-$15 the bookshelves came from Amazon. They were about $50 each. Um, so this is one of the walls. It's really, really long. It's It goes from, it, it, it's its whole wall. <laughs> the curtains we already had. Um, so those came from um, Home Goods. Those came from Home Goods when we first moved in. They were about $20-$25. The wall sconces came from Amazon. Those were about $35. The basketball sign um, or picture, that came from at home. That was about $15. He already had the nightstands. The wood itself, we got two long pieces of wood. One of them was 10 feet. The other one, I think, was 14 feet. In total, that was about $30. And we had them cut it for us. So this is the wall I was telling y'all about. He has one to the left here. It's just blank. The whole long wall to the right. It's just blank. Um, I decided not to go up on the ceiling. I still can if I want to go back. But um, I decided not to go up to that part above the, the wallpaper. His bed came from Amazon. That was about 160 His mattress came from Amazon. That was about 200 we did not get a box spring and I'm thinking about getting one because he's already broken one of the slats. Um, so I'm thinking I'm going to get a box. 
box spring just to even out the, the weight because he likes to fall on his bed. <laughs> and that's why I was laughing earlier because the slot's already broken. It's been about two months. This um, rug came from Amazon. This was about 30 bucks. My dog Bruno has already chewed up half of it. Half, he likes to go under the bed and chew on that rug. The ottoman at the foot of his bed came from Walmart. That was about 40, 50 bucks. The wallpaper came from Amazon. That was about um, 17, uh, I think, actually I think it was $11. Um, above the bed, that shelf right there, he's putting his basketball cards and baseball cards, uh, football cards. And so that's his shelf. And that's what I was saying. I wanted him to be able to personalize it. This is all his design. These are the things that he loves. The only thing he doesn't have in here is like a real basketball. But, you know, the one above his bed is fine. <laughs> um, the clock, that alarm clock, came from Target. That one was $13. Um, and all the other stuff he's already had, so we just accessorized with his belongings already. Um, he has a diffuser. He has his hand sanitizer. His trophies, his hat collection. Oh, and I did put the bed because the bed was really low, so I did raise the bed with the with the supports. I got those from Walmart. They were five dollars for four supports. Uh, I think it was actually five supports, four or five supports. The wiring that goes down the sconce, I need to still get that up or get that fixed but you guys thank you so much for watching I really appreciate you clicking on this video please subscribe to my channel to see more content I'm, I'm excited to show y'all any updates I have a few videos in the queue and um, let me know what you think let me know your favorite part hit the bell for post notifications and thumbs up this video thank you so much for watching y'all have a good one bye